Hello guys, today I want to share with you a need that we had here at work. We needed to run YouTube videos on our iOS app, but preventing our users of going away of it. The code is very simple and I'll be sharing it with you on GitHub. This video is basically to show you the execution of this little project and walk you through the source code presenting the solution while drawing your attention to some details that are very important to make it work properly. Okay, so let's do it. And uh, here we have it already running. It's the final result. I'm basically passing a YouTube video ID as a parameter. And as you can see, it works smoothly. And yeah, this is one of our videos. Once the video is finish it, the application just go, goes back to its normal state. And so straight to the configurations, we must set the flag allow arbitrary load to yes. This is the way the application can access external web websites and then uh, we should add this identifier. It is used to catch events that are triggered on our UI web view. And now let's dive in the application and see what we have on this view controller. Basically, it's just a UI web view, but don't forget to check the delegate and hook it up with the UI view controller. This way we can catch the events and, uh, I mean, catch all the events that will be triggered by it on the source code. Once it's done, let's go to the source code. And uh, so on our view did load, we're just setting these observers to be notified when we go to the full screen mode or exit of it. As you can see, we have two selectors that are called when the events happen. Up here, uh, we have the UI web view that is hooked to the storyboard. As you can see, I'm setting the delegate again, just in case I forget to do so on the storyboard. It still would work because of this, all right? And uh, with this code, I'm prohibiting the video player of playing inside the frame. I mean, without going to full screen. And in here, we have a method that loads the video based on its YouTube ID. And from now on, the source code generates the URL and manage the video execution. Let's take a look at this method. What do we have here? Uh, we have an iframe that is, a, that is in charge of loading the video. And if you pay attention, we are loading an API from YouTube using this URL that provides to us some functionalities. I'll include the link in the video description below to the documentation that YouTube provides. There you can find out more about it. And basically what we do have here are some methods that are called on the video state. They are called based on the video state. This way we know what is happening with the video being played. And right here uh, we are using the same URL identifier that we configured before. It's based on the URL that we are going to receive the events on our UI web, I'm sorry, on our UI view controller. And here we have this method called onPlayStateChange, where I'm catching this variable called data. And then I send it back to our UI view controller using this method that is overloaded from the UI web view. Uh, well, uh, I want to draw your attention to this method. This is uh, with this uh, with this guy where checking if the request is trying to load another thing than our video. This is very important uh, because in case our user touch this YouTube logo, the app loads the YouTube page and that's not the desired behavior. So I'm prohibiting it from doing that using this uh, validation. And moving on, here I'm checking if the request matches the URL identifier and finally we can know the events that the video sent to us based uh, by splitting the URL and extracting the last value that was uh, the same value that we saw on the data variable inside the iframe. Okay? 
and from now on I can identify the video state and uh, let's filter the log and see the events happening. As you can see it's ready to be executed. When I play it changes to buffering and quickly to playing. Once I pause it, uh, it goes to paused state as expected. <laughs> and that's all guys. That's all for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching, subscribing and uh, see you in the next video. Bye bye.